Yes, the intro logo was correct. This is Jenkins Locks and Geekdom. Uh, it's a video series idea I had that applies to both, um, and it's to stop paying for web hosting. Um, so this is, with just a basic Gmail account, how to host your own Word, WordPress web server out in gcloud uh, for next to nothing. I've uh, been using it for over a year, um, and in the entire year I've been charged half a cent. Um, so please migrate to this, save yourself a bunch of money, and it only takes a, a, a little bit of work on your part, and it's, it's easy enough to do. Um, so I just created a just a standard uh, Gmail account. Um, let me log in here. So got a little bit of setup, and in this first part, I'm just going to show you how to deploy a virtual WordPress, just just the virtual server itself. Next video, we'll go into uh, installing WordPress, how to act, how to get to your server, um, and all the all the good stuff. So you want to search for G Cloud Console. You'll have the terms of service. Um, I think we got to click that a few times. Up at the top, you'll see the three hundred dollar credit. Uh, after a year, I'm I'm only down to two ninety nine. 99.5 um, so th and that only charges for the static IP address which you do you do get um, once you spin up your server it's got a static public IP address and you never have to change it so you can point your uh, your registrar your domain registrar to that and then you're in business so we'll go ahead and accept um, put a business name in here it's personal it doesn't matter they just need to know what to call it uh, the next thing is you have to tie some sort of payment method and that's in case you just go and select all the options and you're getting two million hits a day just so they can charge in case you use anything um, I've never been charged anything so put my my information in off screen Hey, welcome. All right. Making progress here. So. Pretty easy. You don't have to worry about all this. Go checklist. No. Um, so you're going to go in and go to end projects. Yep. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, Hold on, cancel. We want to start a new project. And I'm going to call this. Why not? So, create. This will take a few seconds because um, it's, it's spinning up your whole virtual environment right now. Uh, the infrastructure in the background, not the server itself. All right. Come on. Okay, so here's your your project window. We want to click the menu up in the top left. And we want to go to compute, yep, compute engine, and then virtual instances. And this is going to be where we're going to deploy our server. Now in this video series, we'll just be deploying one, but like in my Jenkins lock environment, I've got multiple. I've got a PBX system uh, for my phones. Oh, and this... We're kind of rushing through here. Uh, this does take a little bit of processing time. Uh, so let me... Alright, let me pause this and then I'll resume once this is done. Okay. So we're back and now we can create a virtual machine, VM. This is going to be our server that's going to host uh, WordPress. So I'm going to create. I'm going to change this to WordPress. I always name the server what its function is. Um, now we're going to choose time zone. So 
scroll down you got a whole bunch of options here but the ones we need to worry about is machine type yep. this is just how much CPU how much um, horsepower you want it to have for this we're gonna go with micro because it's a new site we're not expecting much traffic down the road you can increase this and that does not increase your cost as far as I've experienced okay so scroll down and now let's select the operating system I do this on Debian but you can see all the different op options here um, if you're more comfortable with Microsoft you can choose Windows Server I'm not sure if you have to buy a Microsoft license for that or not um, going to increase the hard drive here I, I just go with Debian because it's cheap I, it, it's very simple to maintain and you don't have to worry about security patches every every month or the amount of bug fixes um, so allow traffic on both and I will go over uh, in the series how to get a free yes free again uh, SSL certificate now I'm gonna let this part go in real time just so you can see how quick it is for that virtual server to be out there and ready for you to log into it which will be logging in connecting that'll be next video um, this is just to get us in the door this is a prep work next video we'll connect to it we'll get in we'll run uh, OS updates um, we'll secure it a little bit a lot and actually get to installing WordPress so that was less than a minute we now have a virtual server out there ready for us to do our WordPress our PBX whatever you want and here's where you get charged for that half a cent for the last year plus is for an external static IP address meaning it's never going to change um, so that's what uh, what I was saying is you point your like Jenkins.com uh, geekdom.com you point your site to that um, we're gonna be going over the G Cloud in the next video um, please let me know hopefully this is a good series for everyone um, questions comments concerns what you agree with what you don't agree with please um, post them in the comments I'll be put, putting some documentation in, in the description. Please check out Jenkins Locks and Geekdom channels. Please subscribe, like. See you guys in the next video.